Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. I know Brussels sprouts aren't the first thing you expect to see in your school kitchens, but I'm going to present to you two different recipes that I would love to see you try on either a Try It Tuesday or any Taste It Day you decide to have with your students. The first one we're going to look at is a roasted Brussels sprout, and we're going to do this using frozen Brussels sprouts. I want to show you that you can use both frozen and fresh for this product. The other thing we're going to look at is a shaved Brussels sprout salad. It's one of those things that is delicious, and the kids might not even know that they're getting Brussels sprouts when you first put it in front of them to try. So first, let's take a look at the roasted Brussels sprouts using frozen Brussels sprouts. One key thing you want to make sure you do is do not thaw these out. We're actually going to put them on a greased pan. I would not line it with a paper if I were you. Um, they will get a lot crispier if you don't. We're going to spray it down just so they don't stick. And we're going to pop these in the oven for 10 minutes. This will help the Brussels sprouts release some of that water that they have in them. And after 10 minutes, we'll bring it out and we'll drain the water off and then we'll get going with it. Now that our Brussels sprouts have been in the oven for a couple of minutes um, and had a chance to thaw out, I'm going to go ahead and cut them each in half. And you can use whichever knife you're more comfortable with. I'm going to go ahead and use a paring knife for right now. So they're, not, they're nice and warm through, not too mushy. You don't have to cut them in half, but the good roasty flavor that you get from roasting Brussels sprouts, you'll have more of it by cutting them in half and a less chance of the insides becoming mushy. All right, and once you have all of your Brussels sprouts cut into half, you're gonna go ahead and season them. Now you can choose to season these any way you'd like. I'm gonna keep it really basic today with just some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. If you are serving older kids that tend to like spicier foods, you can go ahead and add a little spice to it. That's perfectly fine. Um, you can go ahead and, as your kids decide that they like these, go ahead and play with the way you season them. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here. This will help the spices stick to it and help it crisp up a little bit more. Sprinkle some salt. Some black pepper. This is our garlic. And our onion. And I'm going to go ahead and just use my hand to toss this around and really get these all coated nicely. All right, and you're just going to go ahead and put these right back onto that same sheet pan. If there's a good amount of water on here, you can go ahead and wipe it down just to keep that moisture away. Otherwise, just spread them out, give them enough room. And they're going to go right back into a 375 degree convection oven. For about 15 minutes, make sure you check it periodically. You might have to give it a little bit of a turn, depending on if one side's darkening up quicker than the other. So now that the Brussels sprouts are done, we're gonna go ahead and get them out of the oven. They have a wonderful color to them. And we're going to go ahead and put them in this bowl right here because we still got a little bit more to do to them. So as soon as they come out of the oven, while they're still hot, we're going to toss them with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and Parmesan cheese. Let's see how much. So we're just going to drizzle it on here. And this can be to taste, so it's something you might want to taste along the way as you go. And then get some good amount of Parmesan cheese in there. And just give it a nice toss. Now be careful because this is going to be hot, so you can use a spatula if you'd like. 
and you have a beautiful balsamic parmesan roasted Brussels sprout. So the next thing we're going to make using Brussels sprouts is a shaved Brussels sprout salad. I have fresh Brussels sprouts in front of me and the first thing you're going to want to do is rinse them and then trim the ends off here. I have a couple left that I haven't done, but I have done a majority of them already. So along with trimming the ends off, any bad leaves, um, brown spots, things like that, this would be the time to remove them. The next thing you're going to want to do is, depending on how much you're making, um, you can use a mandolin, make sure you wear a cut safe glove to protect your hand, or I'm going to actually use a robot because that's what I have on hand. You want to make sure you have everything together correctly so that nothing breaks inside and everything slices up wonderful. And I have my slicing blade on here. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this compartment with the Brussels sprouts just so that they don't bounce around when I turn it on. And you always want to make sure you have your guard. You never want to use anything else to stick down in here to push them down to the blade. So once you fill that up, put your, guard right on, uh, your plunger right in there. Turn it on, and a lot of times they will shoot off in any direction that they want to go in. So just be careful of that. I tend to turn it off in between uses, um, break apart any pieces that need to be broken apart, or any of the pieces that didn't slice well, I will run them through again. All right. Now that we have our Brussels sprouts all shaved and we have made a mess with the Roboku because it tends to shoot them in every which direction it wants to, we're going to go ahead and get started with our salad. So the first thing you want to do is actually mix up your dressing. So we need a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I need a quarter of a cup of lemon juice and a few extra hands would be really helpful too. So you can use fresh or bottled. I'm using bottled here because it is what I have on hand. I need a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. It says a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Once again, I'm going to eyeball that. That was way more, so I'm glad I used my hand and didn't go straight into the bowl. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. So then we are going to whisk this really well just to get it all mixed together nicely. Keep in mind, we have an acid with the lemon juice and oil with the olive oil. So it might take a minute just for it to really emulsify. All right, and we're going to go ahead and set that aside. So for this recipe, you only need about four cups of the shaved Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out just so we can get a real good idea of what that looks like. So right there is about four cups, which looks like actually about half of what I had here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and work out of this bowl now. So along with the shaved Brussels sprouts, we also need one apple. Um, you can chop this up. I might actually julienne it um, or cut it into thin little strips just so it's kind of about the same size as the shaved Brussels sprouts. I have already washed this and I'm going to go ahead and just cut around the core. Leaving the peelings on will give it a, good, a nice color in the salad as well. So if I'm going to do the strips, I'm going to cut them into semi-thin slices and then I'm going to go ahead and stack those slices up if I can get them to come apart and get my nice little thin strips here so 
there. So that adds a nice color there. And you need about the whole apple. This will add a nice sweetness to your salad. All right, so we've got all of our apple in there. The next thing that's going to go in is a half a cup of dried cranberries. So I have those sitting right here. Measure out just a half a cup. Toss them in there. And we also need a third of a cup of our sunflower seeds. Almost out of the chives already. So third of a cup measure there. We need a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then a third of a cup of our chives. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this all together. And then I'm going to whisk this up one more time right before we add it in there. So go ahead and dump your dressing right onto your salad. And I'm going to go in with both hands and just really give this a nice toss so the salad dressing nicely coats everything here. And now you have a beautiful shaved Brussels sprout salad. And the chances are the kids won't even know they're eating Brussels sprouts. So make sure you put this on your salad bar so the kids can enjoy.